Okay. This is uh, hopefully the last part in this series of uh, redoing the motor for the mill. Uh, my friend Fred has uh, got the uh, two risers done and the uh, motor mount plate. And uh, we've got to mount the motor on it and then we'll mount this to the mill and it'll be almost done. So these are two and a half inches high, uh, eight inches long. Got a cut out here and an extra little divot for to clear the uh, rotary encoder that uh, uh, determines the RPM for the the uh, the readout. And uh, we have a cut out here that's uh, much larger than what's necessary, but this is also the air intake for for uh, cooling. Uh, two slotted holes here to move the motor back and forth and the holes are uh, countersunk to uh, fit a um, the socket head cap screw. These are uh, uh, metric uh, cap screws. Anyway, uh, what we're going to do now is uh, mount the motor and uh, Go from there. So goes just like that. Need to extend out the, uh, the rods just a bit so I can purchase on them. The rods in here are quarter twenty uh, tool uh, tool steel drill rod or I guess it's just a drill rod and I uh, there we go I uh, tapped them on each end put a die on them and uh, cut, cut, uh, cut 20 40 uh, threads so uh, let's uh, we can take it back off the, the vise here. The reason I have it in the vise is it doesn't set flat because of this shaft in the back for the fan. But uh, what I'm going to do now is put a washer in there. nuts right now because uh, they need to be loose so I can adjust the motor back and forth. Okay, so it's ready to go up on the on the uh, <coughs> mill. started. Got it all uh, mounted. Got the uh, wiring all dressed up. Put it in a little wiring harness. Uh, motor adjusted. I uh, did have one uh, one problem. Uh, There's an error on my part. When I did the drawings I uh, Failed to uh, leave a hole here for the for the drawbar, so uh, 
the uh, uh, had to uh, take the plate back off and I marked the, where the uh, jaw bar hole should be and drilled it on the drill press out to one inch and, and that uh, worked out pretty good. I uh, <clears throat> really embarrassed about making that mistake, but it was no big deal. So we got it mounted on there solid, got the fan on. And so we're going to fire it up here now. That's 2,500 and 75 RPM, 87. Take it back down to where we normally use it. And that, uh, to me, is a heck of a lot smoother than uh, what the uh, what the original motor uh, was. This is a gearhead uh, mill, so the gears in there make a lot of noise, but uh, it uh, it's going to work real good, I think. The shaft uh, alignment came out perfect, and it uh, adjusted real easy to uh, mesh up with the gears. So uh, this product project's finished. One thing I uh, might note here is the original motor was like this. And you can see that it's uh, it's just about half the size of this other one. Uh, this treadmill motor is a two and a half horse motor. This is a one horse motor. Uh, so I think I've got a little bit more power there. Uh, and these are fairly easy to come by if I need another one. I've got uh, two or three more around anyway. But uh, this one uh, should work out fine. And hopefully I won't burn it up anytime soon. Thanks for watching.